And now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Well, the cold front has come and gone, and certainly we can feel it. After reaching highs in the low 30s earlier on today, temperatures across the region now falling into the single digits with wind chills bouncing below that zero mark at this point. So you can see that frontal boundary along with all the clouds and snowfall rolling off to the east to clear conditions, the cold air mass flowing in behind it, all rolling in across the Great Plains, moving in from the Dakotas, Minnesota, Iowa, Illinois, and now in the parts of Indiana. And that's why temperatures have fallen so low so quickly. Check this out. We're at 10 degrees right now in Fort Wayne, 15 Terre Haute, 4 degrees off to the northwest Davenport, Chicago. Four here at home, still seeing the single digits throughout much of the region. Nine in Delphi, seven right now in Remington. It is five currently in Morocco and here in Lafayette. Looking at downtown, nine degrees. Winds are from the northwest, about seven miles per hour. The northwesterly wind flow will weaken slightly, but still, we're looking at uh, temperatures on the decline at least over the next few hours. The current wind chill in Lafayette, negative two at this point. And this is just a taste of what's to come over the next 24 to 48 hours. So we had that high temperature earlier today, 30 degrees that occurred at 11 a.m. Then we saw the cloud cover, the snowfall, the cold front passes through. Now we've fallen back down to nine in Lafayette. So that high pressure system responsible for the cold air we're rolling in will continue to keep the skies clear throughout greater Lafayette. Think about when you're sleeping without a blanket on, you tend to get a little bit colder, right? Well, the same goes for cloud cover. When you have a lack of cloud cover during the overnight hours, temperatures at the surface tend to get a little bit colder. So as a result, we'll actually be dealing with temperatures falling as low as two, three, four degrees across the viewing area early tomorrow morning. Your bus stop forecast falling to three early tomorrow morning. The one saving grace, weak wind speeds. Winds will be shifting back to the southwest around zero to five miles per hour during the early morning hours. Still with a temperature of three, kiddos are going to have to bundle up, obviously, and I would not be very surprised. I would be very surprised if there weren't some two hour delays tomorrow with these bitterly cold temperatures. So what we're going to be seeing is more of that light cloud cover flowing across the region tomorrow afternoon. Scattered clouds, but some added sunshine on a weak southwesterly wind flow will actually help drive temperatures back up into the mid to low 20s. A high temperature around 23 degrees in West Lafayette for tomorrow, but we deal with some stronger winds late Wednesday night, early Thursday morning with temperatures dipping right back down towards 4. Britt Andy, it's a possibility. We could be dealing with wind chills as low as negative 10 to negative 15 degrees early Thursday morning. On Thursday, we only reach a high temperature of 9. That's an afternoon high of 9 degrees. Overnight lows down around 1. That 1 degree temperature, the coldest since January 19th earlier this year. Wow. So it's just important to stay smart out there. Stay smart. <laughs> use common sense out there. Wear layers and uh, just treat these uh, treat this cold it's really as cold as it's going to be dangerously uh, cold over the next few days and like that ER nurse said if you don't have to be out in it just stay home exactly all right thanks Cameron